hello hello welcome welcome to day 263 of our bible in a year challenge my name is sandra i'm going to be a host for today welcome we are committed to reading our bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time yes you heard me right just less than 20 minutes daily read time please kindly go ahead right now subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on facebook on instagram and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aruleba, let's get started. Day 263, September 20th, 2022. 365 days Bible reading, Old Testament, Isaiah 47, Isaiah 48, Isaiah 49, verse 1 to 7. New Testament, Galatians 5, 7 to 26. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 109, verse 1 to 20. Old Testament and IV version Isaiah 47 verse 1 to 15 the fall of Babylon go down sit in the dust virgin daughter Babylon sit on the ground without a throne queen city of the Babylonians no more will you be called tender or delicate take milestones and grind flour take off your veil lift up your skirts bear your legs and wade through the streams your nakedness will be exposed and your shame uncovered i will take vengeance i will spare no one our redeemer the lord almighty is his name is the holy one of israel sit in silence go into darkness queen city of the babylonians no more will you be called queen of kingdoms i was angry with my people and desecrated my inheritance I gave them into your hand, and you showed them no mercy. Even on the aged, you, lie, you laid a very heavy yoke. You said, I am forever the eternal queen. But you did not consider these things or reflect on what might happen. Now then, listen. You lover of pleasure, lounging in your secret, in your security, and saying to yourself, I am, and there is none besides me. I will never be a widow or suffer the loss of children. Both of these will overtake you in a moment on a single day loss of children and widowhood. They will come upon you in full measure in spite of your many sorceries and all your potent spells. You have trusted in your wickedness and have said, no one sees me. Your wisdom and knowledge mislead you when you say to yourself, I am and there is none beside me. Disaster will come upon you and you will not know how to conjure it away. A calamity will fall upon you that you cannot ward off with a ransom a catastrophe you cannot foresee will suddenly come upon you keep on then with your magic spells and with your many sorceries which you have labored at since childbirth perhaps you will succeed perhaps you will cause terror all the counsel you have received has only worn you out let your astrologers come forward those stargazers who make predictions month by month let them save you from what is coming upon you surely they are like stubble the fire will burn them up they cannot even save themselves from the power of the flame these are not coals of warmth for warmth these is this is not a fire to sit by this is all they are to you these you have dealt with and labored with since childhood all of them go on in their error there is not one that can save you isaiah 48 verse 1 to 22 stubborn israel listen to this you descendants of jacob you who are called by the name of israel and come from the line of judah you would take oaths in the name of the lord and invoke the god of israel but not in truth or righteousness you will call yourselves citizens of the holy city and claim to rely on the god of israel the lord almighty is his name i foretold the former things long ago my mouth announced them and i made them known then suddenly i acted and they came to pass for i knew how stubborn you were your neck muscles were iron your forehead was bronze therefore i told you these things long ago before they happened i announced them to you 
so that you could not say my images brought them about my wooden image and metal god ordained them you have heard these things look at them all will you not admit them from now on i will tell you of new things of hidden things unknown to you they are created now and not long ago you have not heard of them before today so you cannot say yes i knew of them you have neither heard nor understood from of old your ears have not been open well do i know how treacherous you are you were called a rebel from birth for my own name's sake i delay my wrath for the sake of my praise i hold it back from you so as not to destroy you completely see i have refined you though not as silver i have tested you in the furnace of affliction for my own sake for my own sake i do this how can i let myself be defamed i will not yield my glory to another israel freed listen to me jacob israel whom i have called i am he i am the first and i am the last my own hand laid the foundations of the earth and my right hand spread out the heavens when i summon them they all stand up together come together all of you and listen which of the idols has foretold these things the lord chosen Ali will carry out his purpose against Babylon. His arm will be against the Babylonians. I, even I, have spoken. Yes, I have called him. I will bring him and he will succeed in his mission. Come near me and listen to this. From the first announcement, I have not spoken in secret. At the time it happens, I am there. And now the sovereign Lord has sent me, endowed with his spirit. This is what the Lord lord says your redeemer the holy one of israel i am the lord your god who teaches you what is best for you who directs you in the way you should go if only you had paid attention to my commands your peace would have been like a river your well-being like the waves of the sea your descendants would have been like the sand your children like its num numberless grains their name would never be blotted out nor destroyed from before me leave babylon flee from the babylonians announce this with shouts of joy and proclaim it send it out to the ends of the earth say the lord has redeemed his servant jacob so they did not thirst when he led them through the desert he made water flow for them from the rock he split the rock and water gushed out there is no peace says the lord for the wicked isaiah 49 verse 1 to 7 the servant of the lord listen to me you islands hear this you distant nations before i was born the lord called me from my mother's womb he has spoken my name he made my mouth like a sharpened sword in the shadow of his hand he hid me he made me into a polished arrow and concealed me in his quiver he said to me you are my servant israel in whom i will display my splendor but i said i have labored in vain i have spent my strength for nothing at all yet what is due me is in the lord's hand and my reward is with my god and now the lord says he who formed me in the womb to be his servants to bring jacob back to him and gather israel to himself for i am honored in the eyes of the lord and my god has been my strength he says it is too small a thing for you to be my servant to restore the tribes of jacob and bring back those of israel i have kept i will also make you a light for the gentiles that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth this is what the lord says the redeemer and the holy one of israel to him who was despised and abhorred by the nation to the servant of rulers kings will see you and stand up princes will see and bow down because of the lord who is faithful the holy one of israel who has chosen you new testament niv version galatians 5 verse 7 to 26 you were running a good race who cut in on you to keep you from obeying the truth that kind of persuasion does not come from the one who calls you a little yeast works through the whole batch of doom 
I am confident in the Lord that you will take no other view. The one who is throwing you into confusion, whoever that may be, will have to pay the penalty. Brothers and sisters, if I am still preaching circumcision, why am I still being persecuted? In that case, the offense of the cross has been abolished. As for those agitators, I wish they would go the whole way and emasculate themselves. Life by the Spirit. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you bite and devour each other, watch out. Or you will be destroyed by each other. So, I say, walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is contrary to the Spirit and the Spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other so that you are not to do whatever you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The acts of the flesh are obvious, sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions and envy, drunkenness, orgies and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in, sp in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. Psalms and Proverbs Psalm 109 verse 1 to 20 For the director of music of David a psalm, My God whom I praise, do not remain silent. For people who are wicked and deceitful have opened their mouths against me, they have spoken against me with lying tongues. With words of hatred, they surround me. They attack me without cause. In return for my friendship, they accuse me. But I am a man of prayer. They repay me evil for good and hatred for my friendship. Appoint someone evil to oppose my enemy. Let an accuser stand at his right hand when he is tried let him be found guilty and may his prayers condemn him may his days be few may another take his place of leadership may his children be fatherless and his wife a widow may his children be wandering beggars may they be driven from their ruined homes may a creditor seize all he has may strangers plunder the fruits of his labor may no one extend kindness to him or take pity on this on his fatherless children may his descendants be cut off their names blotted out from the next generation may the iniquity of his fathers be remain remembered before the lord may the sin of his mother never be blotted out may their sins always remain before the lord that he may blot out their name from the earth for he never thought of doing a kindness but hounded to death the poor and the needy and the broken-hearted he loved to pronounce a curse. May it come back on him. He found no pleasure in blessing. May it be far from him. He wore cursing as his garment. It entered into his body like water into his bones like oil. May it be like a cloak wrapped about him, like a belt tied forever around him. May this be the Lord's payment to my accusers, to those who speak evil of me. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, if you're here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, kindly repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life. Help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, 
amen congratulations if you said this prayer we are so excited to welcome you into god's family can you go ahead send us an email let us know you gave your heart to christ someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new faith walk the email address is salvation in christ 101 at gmail.com that is salvation in christ 101 at gmail.com please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't yet done so follow me on facebook on instagram and on tiktok at sandra boyo aruleba please remember to go ahead share this link on your facebook timeline your whatsapp status encourage your friends family and loved ones to join us as we read our bibles every single day with just less than 20 minutes daily read time thank you for being here today i look forward to another amazing day tomorrow with you have a blessed day today i love you bye